I think new car dealerships are in crisis and what you need to know about it. Some serious movement underway in the used car market. Prices finally dropping in for the first time since the pandemic. Over the past few years, the car dealership industry has been experiencing a series of worrying changes. Unfortunately, these difficulties are expected to worsen, creating a more challenging environment for car dealerships. Many dealerships are struggling to sell their cars, and as a result of the decrease in sales, dealerships are left with a surplus of financed inventory they're paying high interest rates on. This excess inventory ties up capital, increases storage costs, and adds to the financial strain, and they're at the breaking point. So will things turn around, or is the used car market about to implode? Join us as we take a look at U.S. car dealerships and how they could be facing bankruptcy. In recent years, car dealerships have capitalized on the challenges presented by 2020 and the chip shortage to increase the prices of their vehicles, resulting in a significant impact on the market. For instance, in December of 2022, the average cost of a non-luxury car reached an all-time high of $54,578 representing a nearly $1,000 increase from the previous month. Moreover, the prices of new pickup trucks also surged, with an average cost surpassing $60,000. Unfortunately, as the new year began, there was no relief for car buyers. In January of 2023, the average cost of a new vehicle in the U.S. rose even higher, reaching $46,437, indicating a 4.2% year-over-year increase. In addition to the soaring car prices, loan rates have also reached their highest levels in over 15 years. Recent data from auto website Edmunds reveals that the average monthly payments on a new car has reached an all-time high. This combination of increased prices and interest rates has had a significant impact on consumers. One consequence of these factors is that Americans are now taking much longer to pay off their car loans. As the prices of vehicles have risen, individuals are finding it necessary to extend the duration of their loans to manage the higher monthly payments. This means that the overall debt burden and the time it takes to fully own a vehicle are increasing. Furthermore, the rising costs and loan rates have resulted in more buyers being pushed out of the car market altogether. Jonathan Smoke, the chief economist at Cox Automotive, said, the reality is that you're getting a narrower, narrower, and narrower buying pool that actually can afford to buy new vehicles. The cunning plan of car dealerships to inflate prices has now come back to bite them, as potential customers are unwilling to bite into these exorbitantly priced cars, leaving dealers with rows upon rows of unsold vehicles languishing on their lots. Now, it's important to note that most car dealerships don't actually own the cars on their lots. Instead, they secure loans worth millions from banks to acquire these vehicles and then make monthly payments to the banks until the cars are sold. However, in the midst of a recession, the banks have become wary of extending further loans to these dealers. It's a sensible move on the part of the banks because, let's face it, how are these dealers supposed to offload their cars when customers are hesitant to make big purchases during an economic downturn? Sure, the dealers could offer the cars as collateral, but banks aren't exactly in the business of selling cars. If they did find a way to sell them, the demand simply isn't there, with potential buyers tightening their purse strings during tough financial times. For example, since the start of 2023, Citizen Bank has dramatically downsized its loan portfolio to car dealers, slashing it from a staggering $14.5 billion down to a mere $5 to $6 billion by the end of 2024. But Citizen Bank isn't the only player in this high-stakes game. Other banks, too, have joined the cast, adopting a similar plotline. They've started to retreat, unwilling to gamble their precious funds on the uncertain fate of car dealerships. The consequences of this financial retreat are far-reaching and dramatic. It's no longer a question of if, but when many dealers will face their final act and shutter their doors. With banks tightening their purse strings, dealerships are left stranded, unable to secure the lifeline of loans that once kept them afloat. Apart from the fact that banks are cutting loans, interest rates are also rising every day, making it even more difficult to finance car sales. In March, the average monthly payment for financing a new car reached an all-time high, according to Edmunds, a trusted automotive resource. This means that on average, people were paying $730 each month to finance their new cars. This figure represents an increase compared to previous years. Furthermore, the average monthly payment for financing a used car also experienced a significant rise. In fact, it increased by $147 from June 2020 to reach $556 per month. 
This suggests that financing a used car has become more expensive over time. Additionally, the data reveals that a growing number of new car owners are making monthly payments of $1,000 or more. In January 2019, new car payments exceeding $1,000 per month accounted for roughly 5% of sales. However, by March 2023, only four years later, the percentage of new car buyers with monthly payments in this price range had surged to 17%. According to Ivan Drury, the director of Insights at Edmonds, some of the buyers who opt for high monthly payments are those who choose shorter term loans, typically lasting three or four years. These loans require a higher monthly payment, but also necessitate a larger down payment. While the number of these shorter term loans has increased in the past two years, they still represent a small portion of the overall market. On the other hand, the majority of car loans with monthly payments exceeding $1,000 are taken out by individuals who opt for longer term roles with higher interest rates. This means that they're stretching their loan term over a longer period, often up to seven years, in order to secure a lower down payment up front. The combination of rising car prices and the increasing difficulty of qualifying for lower interest rates has compelled buyers to accept a larger monthly payment over an extended period of time. In 2024, only 1% of auto loans lasted six to seven years. However, these long-term loans now account for 30% of the market. Conversely, only 5% of loans are paid off within two and a half to three years. These factors, including rising car prices, Difficulties in securing lower interest rates and the prevalence of longer-term loans have contributed to buyers' reluctance to purchase vehicles. As a result, dealerships are facing challenges in selling cars. However, the current market conditions in the automotive industry indicate that it may be an excellent time for customers, especially those who can make cash purchases to buy cars. Dealerships are facing challenges in selling off their existing inventory, and as a result, they're likely to become more eager to move vehicles quickly. In order to achieve this, dealerships are expected to start reducing prices, making it a favorable time for potential buyers. If you're in the market for a newer used vehicle and have the ability to pay in cash, the next 60 to 90 days could be particularly significant for you. During this time frame, you may have increased leverage to negotiate lower prices or secure attractive deals. The dealership's urgency to sell off their cars can work to your advantage, providing you with an opportunity to obtain a vehicle at a more affordable price. Therefore, if you've been considering purchasing a car, now might be a favorable time to act and take advantage of the potential discounts and incentives that dealerships are likely to offer in their efforts to sell their inventory quickly. So, in summary, the car dealership industry is facing a myriad of challenges, including soaring prices, rising interest rates, and difficulties in securing loans. These factors have contributed to a decrease in car sales, leaving dealerships with excess inventory and financial strain. However, amidst this challenging environment, there's still a glimmer of hope for potential car buyers. With dealerships desperate to offload their unsold vehicles, customers who have the ability to make cash purchases may find themselves in a favorable position to negotiate lower prices and secure attractive deals. The next 60 to 90 days could be particularly significant for these buyers, as dealerships become more eager to move their inventory quickly. Taking advantage of this situation can provide an opportunity to obtain a vehicle at a more affordable price. While the car dealership industry may be going through a tumultuous period, consumers who are ready to act now can benefit from the potential discounts and incentives that dealerships are likely to offer. What do you think about all this? Let us know down in the comment section.